My name is Garrett Kenny. I am the president of Founders Pomade. And the last year has been very interesting. We've had some success, some failures, uh, which I think we have learned uh, quite a bit from. I'm sure uh, we've all gone through something similar to that. Um, but I'm happy to be here. I'm very happy with uh, the results that have come from uh, being a recipient of one of the Hype Awards. And uh, I think uh, going forward, we're going to benefit a lot uh, as a result of it. I'm Rick Stevens. I'm with Severance Foods. Uh, some viewers may know us as Pandy RO. We're a chip company in the North End of Hartford. We've been there around 30 years, so can't really say we're a new business. However, the Pandy RO brand is new, so that's kind of my project, and that's that was what I was awarded for. And these awards were great for us uh, in terms of PR, but also uh, really made me focus on what strategy am I using for the brand, and what are our goals for uh, what were the goals for 2014, and what are the goals for 2015, and so on and so forth. So really made me take a close look at the mission and, and our objectives. So hype's been, hype's been great for that. Um, my name is Evan Dobis. I'm the founder of Civic Lift, and um, we were the winner of uh, the Hype Award. And since our last update, we have we have moved forward, just not in a perfectly linear direction. Um, had some ups and downs, but uh, we're at the point now where we are well into our the development of our software, which is the key component of our business, and um, have actually identified a few new communities to work with who are currently on the waiting list, so to speak, um, early adopter list. And so we're very excited about that. And so it's just a matter of continuing the work until we finish the software and test it and get some user feedback and then deploy officially. Yeah, actually we uh, at Founders Pomade, we did launch our second product in our line, which is called Founders Structured. And it is a, uh, it's a heavier, uh, whole pomade, which a lot of people have asked for, and we're very excited about that. Um, we had previously kind of fought the idea of having this like thick pomade that people would, you know, have their hair have in their hair for you know weeks on end, but the market basically demanded it, so mm -hmm. we went ahead with it, and uh, we're very proud of it. And people have seemed to receive very well, so that's been a pretty cool thing that we've been uh, dealing with. Great. Uh, on the Pandiero side, Pandiero tortilla chips, uh, we we're continuing to grow the brand. Our biggest customer acquisition in the past couple months was Cost Plus World Market. No one really knows about them in the Northeast, but they do have over 600 locations nationwide, primarily down south and out west. Uh, so they're going to be one of our largest new customers. And they're generally a non-grocery store, kind of similar to a Pier 1, Pier 1 Imports, which uh, I assume a lot of you are familiar with. So that'll be very good brand awareness for us now that we're going nationwide. It's the first non-New England based grocer and store outlet that we're going to be in. So hopefully, uh, you know, the buyers for Costco and BJ's will be walking into a Cost Plus World Market and see our chips and then uh, be giving me a ring. So, fingers crossed for 2015. <laughs> we were, a couple months ago, we were asked to propose on a project for a community and the title of the challenge was called uh, Giving Better Access to Information and Improving Quality of Life for this certain community. And we thought it sounded like a good, uh, good fit for us, so we went for it. And it turns out that that community happened to be in Madrid, Spain. So um, we've actually uh, were accepted as a finalist and then won, won the project, which is very exciting. And we're I'm currently there now working for a six week deployment. So after, after the six weeks, we intend to have a very clear outlook on the functionality of Civic Lift and how it actually applies to a community we know nothing about because that's a huge part. And so the ability to test that in an official capacity while at the same time taking advantage of this opportunity is really exciting for us. That's definitely the biggest piece of news we've gotten this year so far. I'll go first this time. Please. <laughs> uh, being nominated for, or even when I was applying for the Hype Award, like I said before, it just really made me look at my business plan for the Pandero brand. Uh, what were my goals? How was I going to achieve those goals? What marketing plans did I have in place? What budgeting did I have in place? What was I forecasting? Uh, because some of the questions that the judges asked uh, during the ceremony were pretty, pretty complex questions that really got you thinking about your business and how it was going to succeed. Um, so I'd say that was definitely the biggest the biggest impact. In fact, I'm still using the presentation that I put together for the awards and a lot of my sales pitches to big name grocers nationwide. Yeah, and again, to kind of second a little bit of that, 
there's a lot to be said for the fact that these judges are people who will give you some really good feedback having had success in the business world themselves. And I think as, as you're going through that process, it does make you reevaluate your own brand. Mm -hmm. Because I think as an entrepreneur, one of the things you run into is that you're always in this battle of your dream versus the reality of your product, your brand, the market. And I uh, think dealing with this particular uh, competition, you are forced to say, hey, these are where my, well, this is where my business is weak. Uh, this is where I can improve. And knowing that someone is going to actually kind of check on that a little bit, and they're going to have to explain that, I think, mm -hmm. is, is very important. And that being said, I think it's a, it's a great thing for someone to do because it does put you into that process. And, and I would highly recommend anyone who is starting up or even someone who's been in business for a very long time uh, to go ahead and go through this process because it is a very valuable uh, thing that you can do. Well, the business plan is the most important part, and I, I just think I didn't, I didn't really have a business plan in writing before the award ceremony, uh, before before being nominated, uh, before even submitting anything. So the business, every business needs a business plan. Every entrepreneur needs a business plan. You can't do anything without it. So by working with Hype and um, you know applying for this award, uh, it really forced you to think about your business and your goals, which is key for everyone. I think uh, I think that it's. Just the fact that there's a pre-launch category in your, uh, the the competition is great because it it opens it up. It says to even those with just an idea that this is worth something to uh, this is worth something and it should be pursued. And then you get to share your idea and see the the reaction. And of course, that's going to uh, to validate your project entirely. And when we applied um, the the night of after our presentations. <clears throat> Uh, two people out of the audience came up to me and, and said that this would be great for my community. How, how can I get more information? And after after we won it, we also set out a press release to, to the local newspaper and somebody read the press release from a, representing a different community and reached out to us. So it really, it really just got the uh, momentum going for us. So it's not, you know, as somebody who won the pre-launch category, um, it's definitely not too early if it's just a, an idea and the validation that I got from it really pushed me and, and encouraged me to, to, to run with it, which I have done since.